Hello there, horror fans. I'm your host, Douglas, here at Drown Boy Productions, and you're watching 31 Days of Trick or Treat. Yesterday we took a look at the mask that was used at the end of the 44 year long saga that we know as Halloween, Halloween 2018, Halloween Kills, and Halloween Ends. And today we're going to be taking a look at the mask that started it all, the original Young Michael Myers clown mask. This one in particular is the new Trick or Treat Studios version of the Young Michael Myers clown mask. For those of you watching who do not know, for a few years Trick or Treat Studios did offer a completely different version of this mask. To this day, an original copy of the clown mask used by young Michael Myers has never surfaced. One of the originals has never been found. The closest that anyone's ever gotten is Mike Covert. He found another very, very similar clown design from the same lineup, and they actually took his mask and molded the nose because it was exactly the same and used it for this one. However, the rest of the mask was sculpted by the iconic Connor DeLess, and this thing looks phenomenal. It is certainly a huge improvement over the previous version, and the previous version really wasn't that bad. In fact, it was actually a cool thing to see that even brought out because before then, there were just a few artists out there that I guess even bothered with trying to make the young Michael Myers clown mask, and I can't really think of too many original artists who got super, super close. And that's no fault of the artists. Like I said, an original has never surfaced to this day. In fact, up until recently, no one had ever even seen a catalog image of one. I think I have that catalog image saved, I'm pretty sure, but nobody even knows what specific company it came from, at least as far as I know. But if you happen to come across one of these, whether it's this exact version or a very, very similar one, with a nose kind of in that similar shape, it's probably in your best interest to pick it up. And if I recall correctly, those original style masks were made out of a thin paper mache type material or a very, very thin plastic, whereas these are made out of a nice, thick injection molded plastic. Super sturdy masks. I don't think you have to worry about these breaking unless you're extremely rough with it. All of them come packaged on a hang tag, whether you direct order or pick it up in stores, it's gonna be pretty much the same. And now comes the part of the video where we read the excerpt from the website. It says, for details, sculpted by Connor DeLess and special thanks to Mike Covert, you guys know why, as I just listed, Trick or Treat Studios and Compass International Pictures are proud to present the official Halloween Young Michael Myers clown mask. This mask is a beautiful replica of the mask worn by Young Michael Myers in the opening scene of John Carpenter's Halloween. The official Halloween Young Michael Myers clown mask was sculpted by Connor DeLess and is based on numerous screenshots from the opening scene of Halloween. In order to retain all the details of this amazing mask, we decided to make it using injection molded plastic. So get yourself the original, official, Halloween Young Michael Myers clown mask and celebrate the night he came home. And if you want to pick one of these up yourself, they are only $15, which is a really, really great price for this. Obviously, in the thick, thick plastic, you don't have to worry about it breaking. The paint job already looks pretty spot on. So this is one of those products where there's really no need for improvement, no need to change anything. And whether you're a young kid wanting to dress up as young Michael Myers for Halloween or a collector who just wants one of these versions of the mask in your collection, I think it's a pretty great addition. And if you want to grab one of these yourself, you can get it from Trick or Treat Studios directly, or you can get it from one of the numerous different retailers that they work with, like Nightmare Toys, Mad About Horror, Lord Grimsley, or Crypt Keepers. All great places to pick these up, and if you order them online, the only positive I would say that you're going to get over picking one of these up in store is that it's probably going to have like no paint issues. I haven't really seen too many of these getting banged up on the shelves, but obviously because it's such a weird shaped mask, I guess it's possible that these things could get a little bit scratched up if there's a whole shelf full of them. They're great masks regardless, and if you're a Michael Myers fan, go ahead and pick one up yourself. And with that being said, I guess there's nothing left to do but give you guys some nice close-ups of this mask. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video and all the other videos we put out so far this season. I love you all, thank you for watching, and see you next time.